On April 9th, Grand Finals 2016 concluded with a dramatic victory by Natus Vincere. The 12 best teams in the world participated in an epic tournament of unexpected tactics and intense battles. Let's see the top 10 moments from Grand Finals 2016. That's an unexpected use of the new physics. An accident or a premeditated trick by Griffin? Oh, really? Dear. Really? It's next level plays, but again, he can. He's actually getting shots as well. Yeah, he can still fly. He's it. still here, Bortic. Oh, oh Bortic. If you go down to Griffin, that'd be insane. Well. What else can a tank lying on its side do? Ask Levshaw. Inspire and Levshaw. <laughs> That's. Uh, Hashtag new physics. I haven't seen that before, bro. Yeah, I mean, with man, get sideways, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny because actually at the season finals, Navi did this. Uh, Navi did this against uh, uh, NSS a little bit, and um, I didn't expect them to actually come up with something Whoa. slightly more cheeky than that. But yeah, new physics like you could put yourself anywhere. You can do barrel rolls, you know, backflips. You can see they're trying to come forward. Near you wanted a splash, comes forward, just gets completely sent packing their strike. Why would anyone bring artillery to Ruinburg to save the day in the most incredible manner? And he's isolated as well for the rest of his team. Huge hit on whoa, the whoa, whoa, That was whoa. artillery coming he in. He was baiting him out. The bad chats are basically more or less suicide. Ran here into the corner. The gun line, the FVs that came round for oh, it. Oh, 2,000 damage from the artillery against Shotnik. That Huge hit amazing. Shotnik. But a Can the bad chats finish? He needs to finish him up. Yes, he does. He gets the 50 B. Is if they win this map, they, they're on defensive. They got the certificate. Oh, yeah, that is shot that ah, one shot. What to do during the reload on a bat chat? Take your adversary for a carousel spin. Oh, hey, Kate had to hit do all three shots, but he missed. And well, he, he could actually reload. He could run away if he yeah. can kill Coca Cola now, but Coco is really playing well. Um, but he has two shells. He can kill Coca Cola if he plays this well. Don't fire there. You're going to miss. Okay, he doesn't, but Coca Cola is going to give him the runaround. The reload's almost complete on Pavel. He lands the first shot. Can he land the second? Oh. No, and there's the reload. He knows now that he's under fire by the other one. No, he doesn't. Did he miss that shot? He doesn't care. Oh. Wait, drag on the trip. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Hey, dodge. It's not over. How do you surprise the defending team by capturing their base at lightning speed? We might have seen Nexus actually pushing towards the mid and try and spot from the side. Strike coming forward. He's going to try and prevent any reset attempt by distracting. And I don't think Kazza can even get close to this cap. Nexus is the only one that can decap right now. You can see Navi pushing the 1-2 line, countering the decap move. 5100 is going to shoot Nexus in the side. T57 is going to shoot him in the front. There needs to be a reset now. He needs to get a no. I don't think there's any time. And Navi still the round away. Do not mess with these boys. They have a strategy, a clear idea in mind. Should you include artillery in the setup? It's debatable, but wombats on tanks know the answer. And there's a spot to come in. Kusuk wants to make a shot. Oh, oh it's the God. one shot already! Wow. Ah. It's going to be difficult for Sim to hold the position now, and 811. Yeah, it's very difficult for Sim because they're not actually that far behind oh. hit points. <laughs> Kusok just seems to yield such a positive result now. Another shot will be coming. Oh. This is unbelievable! They have to continually reset the cap. <laughs> <laughs> the E50M is going to drop, and that is a dominant start. What can three tanks, one of which is a light French tank, do against four Tier 10 vehicles? Score a tactical victory. So a lot can change in this. Lucie can still be pivotal if he gets a line of sight, but this is going to be insane. Yeah, Lucie really needs to help his E3 out there. Here we go, Griffin going for a bit of a trade out. FC Dino, good focus towards Griffin, but again, Lolvo, once he gets that shell ready and available, this could be all but done. Griffin comes back in, Lolvo takes one. Good work from Lolvo, and now 3v2. It's all on to Lolvo. If he can stay alive, do some more damage, that'd be absolutely sick. And again, tracks him, holds him, does the damage. This is outstanding play coming out, but Griffin takes down FC Dynamo. It's now a 3v2, but look at Lolvo, 11 HP. Time's gonna start running low here, two minutes left. They've got to do something about the cap. 
The cap's still going, as you said. Now Vorsic will be forced to make a play. It's well in time, so everything comes down to the battle here. And you can see it going down. Lucique with a lovely little shot coming through, but it's going to be denied. Lotho comes back into it. 2v1 now. Vorsic needs to go clutch here. He's got so little time to get back, and I don't think he's got it. I don't he's think he can no make chance. it this time. He's got no chance. And you Unreal. Lucique never should have died there. He's the only one fast enough to come back, and now the E3 just not quick enough. Three against five, and with fewer hit points. What do you do? Nothing special, just win. Yeah, Clips still have a lot of healthy tanks. It's a 2v1 for Elian, though. He can't fully commit to this. There's a crossfire. Nexus now timed out, but actually, look at it. Elian still fights Star God Sim. They're fighting back for this. Nexus fights Diabetic. We're down to a 3v3. This is not done. This is not over. Right. And Elian wants more. He's going to find it. It's a pretty much a one here for Elian. Elian needs to find the angle, though. Brett dancing with danger. And the shot comes out. Elian claims it. It's a 3v2. Tigers and Mort have to hunker down. They have to do the damage to stay alive here. He needs to land this cleanly. He does. That's exactly what Eclipse needed. Now down to a 2v2. On the 2v1 up on the top of this. But Mort needs to play this properly. He needs to be playing it so smart. And here we go. This is the battle we won. Eurofish gets caught out. Tigers is in the back lines. So now he's slowed down and... And this is going to be the commitment, and Kazakh oh. found that they will be able to get the first kill. Yeah, they're going to get it. Eurofish is there, and now he's down to a 1v2, and it looks like Tigers is all but out of this, and Nexus is going in for the kill. He's got one more shell to make. He's going to get the job done, and he gets it. You saw how much that meant to Nexus. How many high-explosive shells do you need in a battle? Three. Why? We'll let AppleWow explain it. That's going to be the play for Navi. It has to be the play. He has got a good angles, but he's got heat. Yeah, he's been taking heat there. He's looking for the shot to the end. He needs to connect it, and he does now. He makes it into a 1v2, but the work is far to done for young AppleWow here. Heichi loaded up and ready to go, and why not? Both slide and Lifshar don't have the armor. Now, AppleWow is lit from this position. Levshar has a little side shot, gets some damage across as well. This is going to start to tick up the pressure a little bit more for Applewell. He'll be sweating. He knows, or at least he has a feeling that the Waffentrager has himself walled in there. So Apple's trying to cross him off. He's still got some time to play around. This is incredible. Apple could come around the corner and get a quick flick and get it done. It's the 1v1 now, and there is still time left. Applewell will just have to D-track and kill him. Now slide, this is the final stand. The tumbleweed rolls past, and Applewell comes out. Have a shell for your oh. troll. Ask anyone in the audience, which moment of Grand Finals 2016 was the most memorable? This one. 2v1, it's Spira, just trying to hold on, but he knows that Boal's up on the hill. Griffin now is going to try and get involved, and Spira only has three shells left. It's not going to be enough to take both of these takes down. He needs to press forward. Applewell slides down the hill there as well. He avoids the shot. The angle not there for Inspira. And Inspira may just be stuck in that spot. He needs to jingle and get out of it there as well. And in the meantime, of course, Griffin will be descending. But is actually stuck. I don't think Applewell can get out of this position. He's really screwed up for his team. But Griffin has to find the shot. This is terrible for an Applewell. Oh no, the shot from Griffin. That's huge. Inspira now down to a one shot. And Applewell stuck. He can't move. No, he can't move. I told you, he can't move. This is physics for you. Cap has gone underway. Griffin's got a bush there. Griffin will be sitting behind one of the bushes. He knows that. Which bush? That's the real question. He peeks around. No light bulb yet. Can't tell. He gets the spot. The shot comes in. I don't believe it. Inspira gets it done. And now the 1v1. Inspira. And Applewell, who's stuck on the side of a cliff. Time 